Okay guys, by now you should know that an Angular application is made up of several components each representing its own view. And in the previous video, we learned about the app component which is responsible for displaying the hello world in our browser. Now, in this video, let us create a new component from scratch and learn how to use that component in our application. Now, the first thing we have to do is create a new TypeScript file. And let us make this component about our tutorials. So within our app folder, create a file called tutorials.component component.ts Now just like our uh, app component we first have to import the component class from the core module so angular I forgot the add symbol so angular core the next thing we need to specify is the component okay oops sorry about that Okay, so if you remember, a component is nothing but a class with some metadata. So let's name our class as tutorials component. And since we need to use this class in other components, we are going to have to export it. So we have our component class. And now we attach the component decorator with, okay, sorry about that we attach the component decorator for our class so within our component decorator we are going to specify a selector and a template so selector which is going to be the custom html tag that we are going to use to represent this component so let's have it as my tutorials and a template uh, which is going to have the html code so let's just have within h2 h2 tag we can specify let's say jotmon tutorials all right so we have our import statement a component decorator and associated class so that means our um, newly created component is complete now if you remember I mentioned that usually in Angular applications, we will have one main component called the root component and the other components are usually part of this root component. So in our case, the root component is the app component and the tutorials component is going to have to live inside this app component. So let's see how to do that. First, replace these single inverted commas with backticks. Now the back tick is nothing but the key right below escape and above the tab key. Now this is going to allow us to specify HTML in multiple lines. Now what is the HTML we need to specify? It is the selector of our tutorials component. So my slash tutorials and then a closing tag my slash tutorials. Now, just like our index HTML where we have my app for the app component, we have used the my tutorials for the tutorials component. Now, what we should expect is that from our tutorials component, we should have the Jotmon tutorials template replacing the selector tag over here, which in turn is going to get replaced in our index.html. So, if we have a look at our browser, we see that the Jotmon tutorials text is missing. Why? That is because our app component doesn't know or doesn't understand what this my tutorials tag is. So we need a way to inform our app component about this my tutorials component or the tutorials component. That we do by using another uh, configuration called directives. So directives is going to have an array we are going to specify an array for now it is just the name of the component so tutorials component now if I hover my mouse it says cannot find name tutorials component that is because 
this file right here is not unaware is unaware of the tutorials component so we need to import the tutorials component so tutorial tutorials component from our tutorials dot component file so from now since we are since the file is within the same folder we are going to have a dot and a forward slash specified i mean uh, followed by the tutorials dot component file name now we are not going to specify the extension as i already mentioned now if we save it's going to automatically compile and then there you go jotmon tutorials and here if you're going to let's say inspect all right let me bring it over here so this is how it is within our body tag we have the my app tag which is our root component and within the root component we have hello world from jotmon which is the template in my app uh, which is within uh, app component and then we have another tag which is my tutorials tag and that is going to be jotmon tutorials so that is how we create a new component and then use it in another component using directives and we're going to be learning more about these directives in the future videos but for now this is how you create a component and then use it in your root component so thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe hope you guys are enjoying the video and i'll see you in the next video